Hello everyone, I am Parth Singh. I am a physics student and today I am going to tell you about Bernoulli's principle. According to Bernoulli's theorem, total sum of energies remain, uh, per unit volume in a fluid remains constant. That is P plus half rho V square plus rho G H equals constant. So basically, I was doing my physics investigatory project, the winter investigatory project, and I'll be showing you about the applications of Bernoulli's principle. I'll be showing you two experiments. Experiment one, that uh, experiment one that will be uh, how a ball floats over a hair dryer, and the second experiment uh, will be a surprise one for you. So. Here I am with the first experiment. This is a hair dryer, and it's not that high part, so you will not see the ball this high. But yeah, this high you will see. Okay, so when I place the ball gently over it, and when I switch it on, you see the ball floating. You will see how the ball floats, and. I can also angle it. And when I switch it off, you see the ball is not floating. You can see that the ball is rotating. Okay. Basically, now I will give you an explanation for this experiment what happens is that the air which comes from this blower is very very fast <coughs> okay so uh, when this air comes when this air blows this ball away what happens the area here this area this area this the area here here in this area the area where the speed of the fluid in this case air is very very fast the pressure there decreases and what happens is the pressure around is quite high so what basically happens is that the outer pressure helps this ball to be inside and not just blow away keep it in a flow keep it float okay so I'll explain it to you once again what happens is when I start this on when I put it on the ball blows up and when this force the force from this blower it's equal to the mg the weight the gravitational force that acts on this ball the ball stops there and what happens is the same that the the area here where the pressure uh, where the wind speed is where the speed of the wind is quite high the pressure at that area is quite less and what happens the outer pressure is quite high so basically helps the ball to stay here okay now let me show you the second experiment My second experiment is quite amazing. Suppose I take this ball in my hand and I ask someone to lift this ball with the help of this funnel. What the man will do? He will place this funnel over the ball and what will, uh, he will do is he will try to suck. <sighs> he will suck it. But if you ask the same from me, what I will do is I'll keep the ball and just apply my mind and I'll see by Bernoulli's principle if I blow it in, the ball will still lift up. Let me show you. <coughs> what happens? Basically, when I blow 
the velocity of the fluid, the speed of the fluid is quite high when I blow it up. <laughs> what happens? The, the, the fast moving air comes from this hole, and then here is the ball, and it and it comes and it enters out from here, this this area. And what happens is the pressure in this area is decreased. And the pressure of the outside ex uh, environment is quite high. So basically, what happens is the outside pressure helps this ball to stay in contact. <laughs> and even if I put this ball here and try to blow air into it the ball will not just blow away, it will still stay in contact. Let me show you. When I stop blowing, the ball just goes down. So these are the two experiments to show how the Nolly principle works. You can do the first experiment with the help of a balloon also. I don't have a balloon. So, I can't do it. Thank you. I am Bharat Singh and I study in class 11th. If you like the video, please do tell me. Thank you.